Hello coders, this is Jared with Renaissance Coders and today we are going to be covering navigation within the UE4 viewport. Now if you are coming from Unity to this series then you may be thinking why do I need a video focused on moving around in my level? It's pretty easy, right? Well, that's not entirely true. When I first got into Unreal Development from Unity Development, I had a lot of difficulty moving around in my level seamlessly, which is infuriating to be quite honest. It's not that the controls within the Unreal Engine are bad, but they just take some time to get used to. The first thing that we're going to take a look at are the mouse controls. Now, I'm going to cover this assuming that you are using a three button mouse the three buttons being the left, middle, and right buttons. The middle button can be the scroll wheel. Now the first thing I'm actually going to cover is the left click functionality. So when you left click and move that you enter this sort of driving mode. So you can move forward if I move my mouse forward, back if you move it back. And this form of movement can actually be fairly useful once you get used to it. It just takes a while to get used to it though. The one uh, thing with moving this way is that you can't move vertically. So, uh, I mean, if you're doing this yourself, try to move vertically. You can't do it left and right, you know, forward and back. That's all of the movement that you have with the left click. If you do want to move vertically, though, you have to use your middle mouse button. So if you just press down your middle mouse button, then you can go down, up, and you can even go left and right as well. So, I mean, it's pretty easy to move around using these two methods if you just go down and then you can go forward with left click and up and you know it just takes a little while to get used to this especially coming from a different engine now the middle bu mouse button does have restrictions just like the left mouse button so you cannot move forward with the middle mouse button you can only move up down and left and right again so basically what you want to do is try to get yourself positioned and then move forward to what you want to look at okay Okay, so the final mouse movement that I want to talk about is the right click, and this just basically moves the camera around and rotates it. So if you right click and rotate, then you can move your camera left, right, up, down, you know, and that just really sort of helps you to focus on an object. So if I move a little closer, you know, and then move so that I can look up at it, look down at it, and just sort of helps you focus on things a little better in the level. Now to navigate your scene really easily you're gonna have to use all of these at the same time um, and to zoom out like I just did right there you just scroll the scroll wheel you know so up and down that's basically your zoom but like I was saying to move around in your level really well you're gonna have to use all four of these mouse controls so you're gonna have to use your forward or your left click you're gonna have to use your up and down as your middle and you can you can use your right as your camera rotation so I definitely suggest you practice using these movement methods because once you get a hang of the hang of it it's actually pretty easy to do it just takes that time to get used to it okay so the next thing we're actually going to take a look at are combo movements or combination movements and that is pressing a key on the keyboard and a, a uh, mouse button and the first one we're going to look at is uh, pressing the Q key and the left click so if I press Q and then left click you can see obviously like I just totally lost where I was at right um, so this one takes a little while to get used to and usually what I do is left click and then press Q Okay, and as you can see, that's moving the camera down in incre incremental steps. I don't really find this key combination to be overly useful because I like to use the middle mouse button, which basically does the same thing. But if you maybe just need to step down one step, then you just press the Q button once. Now, if you do hold the Q button, you're going to just like zoom out, you know, so you just lose where you're at. Um, to get back, you can click on an object and press F, which just, which just frames the object back into your viewport. Okay, so the next one we're going to go over is pressing the E key and the left mouse button. So if I press my left mouse button and press the E key, that moves us up. So Q moves us down, E moves us up. And again, you can hold it. If you do, you're going to go way up. Q moves you way down. Um, but again, I like to use middle mouse button for this because it gives you a little more control uh, over the movement. Pressing it once is pressing either the Q or E kind of lerps the camera a little bit. So... Um, again, I mean, it could be useful if you like to use the keyboard. 
personally I'm really used to using the mouse at this point. Okay, so moving on to our next combo is going to be clicking and pressing the W key, which is going to move the camera forward. So if I just left mouse click, press W, then it's going to move me forward a little bit. And again, if you hold it, it's going to keep moving you forward. So I'm just going to click, frame up the chair again. Um, and just like with Q and E, you can do W to move forward and S to move back. And, you know, it's just sort of lerping the camera forward and back again just by pressing it. So if I press it once, it moves me forward that far. If I press S once, it moves me back that far. So, you know, I guess this could be useful if you're just trying to get in really close on an object like that. Um, but again, I mean, you're going to have more control with the mouse, in my opinion. Okay, so we're also going to look at the A and S keys. So if I click, or the A and D keys, excuse me, so if I click and press A, it moves me to the left, D moves me to the right. And again, it's the same thing as Q and E and W and S, you know, so I can press it once and lerp there, D moves me there, you know, so, and again, you can hold it and just sort of move very quickly. And this can be really useful if you need to move through a scene really quickly, so if I just like just imagine that my scene is really long, I click and just press W, then I'm sort of zooming through my level. Um, and this could be useful, uh, you know, if you just want to get a quick glance without having to frame things up, you know, just pressing W and moving through it, you know, and then I can press uh, E and move back up, rotate the camera around, you know, so it definitely takes some getting used to. Um, personally, I do just Typically, if I you know zoom way off in the middle of nowhere, then I'll typically just click on an object, frame it back up. Okay, so we've got a few other shortcuts that I'm going to take a look at, and one is uh, clicking and pressing the F key. Like I said, uh, it just allows you to frame things up. So if I click off of, if I don't have anything selected, click and press the F key, it doesn't do anything, right? So the F key only works if you have an object selected. So if I'm just going to zoom out and then look way off in the middle of nowhere and then I'm going to select my chair again and press F. Okay, now that's not a great view because of how I was looking, right? So that's not adjusting my rotation to a very good rotation. It did adjust it a little bit, I think. So let's see if I do it like this, press F. It, again, it's not affecting the camera rotation. So be sure to keep that in mind when you're framing things up, um, you may still need to actually rotate the camera after pressing the F key. Okay, so the next one we're going to look at is pressing, clicking and pressing the C key. So I actually am going to just select this statue here, click and press the C key. And basically what this is doing, I accidentally moved there, but uh, basically what this is doing is just playing with the FOV of the viewport camera and you can actually get really close in on some objects um, like I was there so let me just redo that again and just continue pressing the C key with the le left mouse button held down and that allows you to zoom in really close uh, by manipulating the FOV or field of view of the camera and as you can see you can really get in close and see the seams on an object um, as soon as you let go of the left mouse button though it zooms back out so it sort of does zoom back out and then zooms into the initial FOV, which is really useful. So let's say you had an object and you just wanted to look in at the normals or the how the material's being applied, like that statue. You can just, again, just press the C key and get in really close. And I mean, that really looks really good. You can see we do have seams that are showing up there, but the player probably isn't going to notice those. So I don't think that that needs to be adjusted. Okay, the next thing we're going to look at is pressing the Alt key on a Mac. So I'm going to press that. Well, actually, you have to select an object first. So I'm going to select my statue. And then I'm going to press the Alt key and the left key and move around. And as you can see, this allows me to rotate around that selected object, which is pretty cool. And this allows you to sort of see uh, 360 degrees around the selected aspect asset that you have in your level. A quick note on this is that you do have to hold the Alt key and press and hold the left mouse button as well. If you let go of the Alt key, 
then your camera will start to move off to nowhere, which is not good. So let's zoom back in and just do it one more time. Alt, left click, and again, we're just sort of rotating around. It's not a very good rotation point, but we are moving in a oblong around the statue. Another thing that you can do is actually move towards an object. So I'm actually going to click on this chair here, press the Alt key and the right mouse button this time, and this allows you to move towards the selected object. And you can see when I'm getting really close, it's trying to move me back out because it's becoming, it's, it's getting too close to that object. So it's sort of going out of frame. Um, and you can just move forward and back, and that just sort of helps you, again, get really close to an object. One note on doing the Alt and Right button is that this is not adjusting the camera's FOV, right? This is just moving the camera closer to our, closer or farther away to our selected object. The last thing I'm going to take a look at in this video is playing with the camera speed. And to do that, you can just go up to this button up here that says camera speed, click on it, and you get a little slider. And this allows you to reduce the camera speed or increase the camera speed. My suggestion would be to be pretty careful with this because if you drop it way down, you know, you're probably going to be moving really slowly. So I, I don't know if you can even tell right there, but I'm trying to move forward and it's just moving really slowly again, up and down. Um, left and right, it's just moving much more slowly than we were moving before. Of course, the opposite is also true. So if I click on this again and bump my camera speed all the way up to 8, now I'm going to be moving really quickly, right? So I just like totally blew past my scene there. So you can see how far I moved just by barely moving the mouse. And this can be really hard to uh, get focused in on a certain object. Of course, you can always press F to focus in on that object again. Um, but this would be, I guess this would be useful if your your level is really large, right? So you've got a huge like open world environment and you need to cross it quickly, um, but you don't want to press the focus or frame key. You know, then you can do uh, bump up your camera speed and move around that way. So one final note on that is that does affect um, the uh, keyboard movement as well. So if you press A and D and S and W, again, I mean, it's just sort of like going crazy right now, and it can be really unruly to maintain uh, focus on an object or to really see where you're going. Um, and so the last thing, I, the, the last shortcut that I did want to point out, I haven't really found a great use for this personally. I'm, I'm sure there are um, uses for it, but I just haven't found one, is that you can actually increase the FOV. So if I click and press the Z key, oops, sorry, let me actually, actually I'm gonna drop the camera speed back down to four. Oh, there we go. And I'm gonna press the Z key and just hold it. And you can see that's just increasing the FOV of the camera. And that looks kind of crazy, right? Like that's, uh, I'm not really sure what you would use this for. Um, I'm sure you wouldn't actually zoom out that far. I mean, maybe if you're just trying to look at it like that or even that, though, I, I'm, I'm not totally sure how this would be useful. Again, it works a lot like C, though, to where once you let go of left click, it returns to the initial settings. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you learned something new. Um, if you did, be sure to drop us a like and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching.